Hey everyone, it's Kara here from Boho Berry and I am back with a brand new plan with me video for you guys today. This one has been much anticipated because I am officially moving from a hardbound notebook into my traveler's notebook inserts that I have here in my Chic Sparrow traveler's journal. So if you've been following along with my one month in my bullet journal series during the month of August, then you know that I already have this kind of set up the way that I want it. And today I'm really, really excited to show you how I have everything set up and then bring you along with me as I finalize getting everything set up and ready to go for the month of September. So I'm just gonna open up my traveler's notebook here and you can see that I have six inserts inside. So it's quite a bit chunkier than I was expecting, but I kind of love how chunky it is. So I'm just gonna flip you through each one of my inserts and how I have them set up, and then we're gonna finish setting up for the month of September. So my first insert here in my traveler's notebook is for goals. This can be personal or business goals. And I decided to use the follow your arrow cover from my shop because I thought that that was kind of appropriate for chasing your dreams, following your goals. So as I open it up, you can see that I have an index in the front and then I already have a few things set up in here. So I have my 18 before 2018 list, which I wrote a blog post about if you're curious about all of these goals. There are just 18 things that I wanna get done by the end of the year, it's kind of clearing unfinished business and things to get done so that by the end of the year, I feel like I've ended the year strong and I'm ready to take on 2018. After that, I have my eight week workout plan. So I'm planning on getting back into the gym starting on September 1st. So I wanted to make sure that I had my entire workout plan in here. So I have one plan for weeks one through four and then I'm changing it up a little bit for week five through eight. And this was a workout plan that was created for me by my personal trainer, Marissa, who is fabulous. I'll be sure to link her down below, but I'm excited to kind of get back to this more solid and structured plan in the month of September. And then after that, I decided to recreate my level 10 life on the next spread. So level 10 life is something that I've done several videos on if you search on my channel, but essentially I have eight areas of my life. I have relationships, environment, wellness, contribution, recreation, finances, career, and personal growth. And I rate myself on a scale of one to 10 in each of those areas. And then I also set some mini goals in each of those areas for ways that I can improve them. And that is all I have in my goals insert right now. So we're gonna flip to the next. This next insert is actually for my general collections. So things that don't necessarily fall in any of the other categories that I have here in my bullet journal. So I have an index for this as well. And I've started off this insert with a color chart for all of my Tombow dual brush pens and also a color chart for my Tombow twin tone dual tip markers and that's all that I have in this one so far. My next insert is going to be for my monthly collections. So originally I was just going to do gratitude but I decided that I wanted my monthly collections kind of all in one place. So I'm going to have my gratitude log and my habit tracker for each month here in this journal. So I don't have this set up yet. That's what I'm going to set up here with you today. So my plan is to have one side of the page be a gratitude log and the other side of the page be my habit and mood tracker. And then I will fill up this notebook with nothing but those. After that, I have my monthly insert. So this is gonna be my September monthly. So I'm gonna show this to you real quick. I have on the very first page, a little mini future log. So I have places to write down for upcoming events in October, November, and December. And then I have my first monthly spread. So I decided that I'm gonna stick with a color scheme throughout the whole month. So I'm gonna do this purple and teal in this whole entire insert, but I basically have my month set up. So I have the days of the month 
down the left hand side and I have each day divided into AM, PM, and all day. So as appointments come up, I can kind of put them in their respective slots. And then as always, I'm gonna be color coding each of my events and appointments based on work, personal, family, holidays, and birthdays. And then here on the this month column, I'll be writing in all of my goals and main tasks and projects that need to get done this month. Then I have my very first weekly spread, which is for the current week that we are in. September 1st falls on Friday, so I wanted to make sure that I had all of September in this insert. And then my first daily page, which is for today. So this insert is gonna house only my monthly spread, my weekly spreads, and my dailies. After that, my next insert is going to be for travel. So anything travel related, itineraries, any travel journaling I want to do, all of that is gonna go into this insert, which is currently blank. And then at the very end, I also have one last insert, which is going to be for business. So anything related to my business that I want to work on, maybe sketching out new project ideas or hashing out task lists for big projects, things like that, all of that is gonna go in this final business insert. And then I have this little wrap around, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> It's like a little business card holder and a little pouch on the back. So I have a few little random things here in the back pouch and then some little cards in the business card holder. And that is essentially my entire notebook. I don't have anything in the back secretarial pocket. And then as far as accessories go in my pen loop, I have my Twisby Diamond 580. This is actually a, or was a limited edition color. It's called Christmas Green. I'm not sure if you'd be able to find it anywhere, but I know I get a lot of questions on that. And then on my monthly insert, I have my paper clip, and I do have the shops that I purchased these from listed in the description box below, but I have a cute little paper clip just so it's easy for me to turn to my monthly spread. And then I also have this little bookmark in here, and I'm keeping the feather on my current weekly spread, and then the little dangly charm on my current day. And then I also have one more little pen clip. It's just a little binder clip. I also purchased this on Etsy, so you can see that in the description box below. But you could easily make these at home, y'all. It's basically just a piece of elastic attached to a binder clip, and I just loop my pen in there. All right, so now that you have seen how I plan on setting everything up, I wanna go through and kind of label each one of my inserts, and then I wanna start my monthly spread insert live on camera here with you all. All right, so for my goals insert, I'm actually not gonna label it because the follow your arrow is pretty descriptive to me, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I do want to label this one as general collections, and I think I'm just gonna do this on the top right hand corner of each notebook and I'm going to keep it really really simple I'm just going to say collections All right and then this insert is going to be for gratitude and habit tracking so I'm just going to call this monthly monthly collections all right up next we have the month of September go and I have travel and last but not least I have business all right so the one that I want to set up with you all today is my monthly collection so we're gonna open her up and I am gonna create an index at the front and let's see what colors do I want to use for this one I think I'm going to do pink and maybe a lighter pink like coral color. All right, so I actually want to turn the page. So I think I'm going to do my gratitude on the left hand side. All right, so we've got gratitude. 
On the right hand side, I'm going to do my habit and mood tracker. So this is for September. All right, so that is it. We are all set up and ready to go. I'm super excited to start using all of my inserts here during the month of September. I also wanna say thank you to everyone for kind of tagging along during the month of August for one month at my bullet journal. It has been so, so fun. I know we have a few days left before September hits, so I'm looking forward to filming those videos and spending that time with you all as well. As always, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, be sure to leave those in the comments section below and I will do my best to join in the conversation down there with you all. I am off to get this day and this week started and I hope you have a great Monday, a great start to your week and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.